Honestly, I should have done this video a long time ago. Fox Tail from the D. What's up, YouTube? This is Foxtail Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to find stocks using Think or Swim's Stock Scanner. I'm gonna show you how to set up the Think or Swim Stock Scanner. It's actually called Stock Hacker, but I don't know, that sounds, I like to say Stock Scanner better. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the Stock Scanner and just give you a little bit of information about it so that you can actually learn how to find profitable stocks, maybe stocks that you didn't know about or just different setups and criteria for different strategies. So this is really, really going to help you with trading stocks. Honestly, I should have done this video a long time ago, but. But first, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. All right, so right now we're here in the Think or Swim home screen. And so when you wanna get started with building your scanner, you're gonna go right here to scan next to analyze the market watch. So click on scan and right now it's empty so there's nothing here and you're just gonna see this little <clears throat> this little box right here and it's gonna say click to add filters or to add a filter to this condition so when it says filter that, that's basically one of your criteria so what's a filter what are you looking for first I really just want to say because I was confused about this when I first started doing this but make sure that you're in this stock hacker category so you can go to option spread spread book and these options this is basically gonna show you uh, um, how to find just specifically options. This is all about options. These are different spreads, just different setups and strategies. I'm not talking about any of that because I really don't use those. So just make sure you are in the stock hacker here with this little, this little, what is this little arrow thing? When it says scan in, this is just meaning all stocks. So let's say if you're looking solely for stocks, make sure the scan in is selected to all stocks. Now, if you wanted to just look for stocks that have options, so if you're in and if you're interested in options trading and you only want to scan for stocks that have options available, you're just gonna click here, see the category, and scroll over to all optionable. So this is gonna show you all stocks that have options because not all stocks have options. For this example, I'm just gonna go to, you know, just all stocks. So just make sure you have all stocks or whatever. If you're looking for Forex or if you're looking for o o OTC stocks, all listed stocks, there's all in NYSE or NASDAQ, there's a lot of options here. I'm just gonna go for the basic all stocks. Then you can click right over here to add condition group. So right here I have all of the following and that basically means that I'm solely looking for these stocks or you can have none of the following meaning you don't want to find any of those or you can click on any of the following. So you know I'm, I'm just gonna keep it on all of the following. I'm gonna keep it simple. This is gonna be basic. And so the next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add filter. Okay and it's gonna show show you a list here and so when it has stocks this is basically just gonna give you oh, let me just click it so when you click on stocks this is basically going to give you information about that stock price movement so the asking price or the bid price the size ask size the close you know what was the price that it was at the close of the day or the open what was the high of the day the last you know the last price in that time frame there's so many different criteria that you can put in here it's, it's really it's crazy uh, percent change so you can click these different criteria right here and uh, for me right now I'm gonna click on close just I guess the last price I'm going to let me just do maybe 15 and then the maximum the highest price so the minimum closing price to the maximum I say the maximum I go is 50 after you're finished putting your criteria in you're gonna just go over here and click scan and that's going to show you a list of the number of stocks here so this is going to, when it says show on the show I only have 50 here so you can click up to 2,000 click scan again Ugh, it's telling me it's probably gonna slow down my computer girl I don't care just show me what I want to see and so this is just you know hundreds of different stocks that you can choose from and uh, let's go back up here to the top you can organize them you see these categories up here just click on it if you want to organize them by that so if I want to look at Organize the stocks by percent change, just click that. So this is the lowest percent change or the 
it dropped versus the highs. It was 74, who is this? Okay. Okay, I digress. So um, that's just basically that. Let's, let's try another one, add filter. So that's just stocks. Uh, let's look at options. So if you were looking for stocks with options here and you just wanted to look for some things for options, I don't know if you watched the options trading for beginners video, but I'll leave a link for you to click on that so you can get an introduction to options. But here's some things that you can look at the Delta, Gamma, uh, those are the Greeks. I'll have a video about that soon. Intrinsic, extrinsic value, open interest, how many, you know, open interest are available for that option contract. Whatever you want to look for in a stock. You can set it up here on the scanner and you can press scan and it's only going to show you stocks that fit that criteria. So this is really going to help you boss up on your strategy game because you're going to have to, you know, think about different strategies, different strategies and setups and literally any setup that you can think of, you can put it in the scanner. You just have to figure out how to set it up and, you know, we'll go through that eventually. Question. Leave a comment below and let me know if you guys want to start seeing more videos um, about the stock scanner, different setups that you can do for different outcomes. Let's say if you want it, you can have a different setup that's good just for day trading. You can have a stock setup that's going to be good for finding good swing trade stocks, like uh, stocks that only show you stocks with an RSI of overbought or oversold or just anything. It's, oh my God. The possibilities are endless, so leave a comment below and let me know if you guys want to see more videos about how to set up different things. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Like, I only have a certain amount of time for videos. So this one, this is literally just going to show you how to set it up. But yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see that. Okay, <clears throat> let's try another one. Okay, so for fundamental here. Fundamental, that's basically going to be different setups that you can do for, let's say, dividend payout. So if you only want to search for stocks that have a certain dividend yield payout, if you're looking for stocks that have the highest dividend yield, Yield, then you can put that in here. So this is current one year ago. Current dividend payout. So I want no percentages, five to ten percent. I don't know. Ooh, there's a lot. Wow, that's cool. Okay. So what else do you see with fundamental earnings per share, gross profit margin, net income? Yeah, just a lot of different things. So I mean, you have to go through here and you can pick and choose what you want to do. We'll go over that in different videos if you want to see about that. Let's try, let's just try one more. Click add filter again. All right, so for this one, this is a good one. On click for study, you remember how I just mentioned different setups like uh, for different indicators for RSI. Let's say if you only want stocks that are oversold, meaning that their RSI crossed below the 30 mark, you can click on that here. So what you would do is you click on custom, click on edit, and right up here, what did I say I want? RSI. So that's gonna be study, and I can just type in RSI. All right, so I only want stocks that cross below a value of 30 within one bar save okay oh also make sure right here that you update your time frame so on the RSI on the day like do you want it to be on the day the week the month it depends on what time frame you're looking at so you remember we talked about time frame is very important so if I'm swing trading I might click on week and click scan Ooh, it's not that many. Okay, so yeah, that's how you add your different filters. There are so many different setups that you can do. And one thing I really wanna show you here is, uh, let's just say this is the setup that I want. It's really not though, hold on. I don't know, I just tried that. I don't even know if that's gonna do anything, but dang, that's what's up. Let me see, click on one of these stocks. Okay, it's on the day. Oh man, dang, so this really only shows you stocks. Dang, that is so freaking cool, bro. Oh my f God. Ooh. This is literally only showing me stocks that opened with an EMA line that was above the price. That means it was an uptrend, so. I mean, if you wanted to break a breakout just for, if you wanted to break out for a time period, this scanner is literally gonna help you find whatever setup you want. So that's the beauty of it, but now that you know about that, we would just need to talk about different setups or you can just play around with it and just try different things. It's really, it's really crazy. Like, this is really nice. Oh, 
And what I really wanted to show you is, so this is, let's, let's just say this was the setup that I wanted for my, uh, my EMA setup, but I also want one for RSI and I would also want one for volume two. Like I want more than one. So to save this, you click right here to this middle, this little middle box thing, binder looking thing and you click save. So you have requested a very large number of symbols. Yep. Okay, so you save it and I'll just call this one EMA Suite, save. So it took that off and if I wanted to bring it back up, you just click that middle one again, click load, go to personal, and this is just a list of all of my personal ones and where is it EMA Suite? It's right here and you click it and it comes back up. But also I wanna show you, click here to the middle one, go to load, scan query, and they also have other ones that are already made for you. So these are public ones, they have percent, change, gainers, gap ups, new yearly highs, yearly lows, upcoming dividends, um, schedule for earnings, and I think we said in a previous video, there's just been this study of stocks that have upcoming earning shares, when they share their earnings to the public, a lot of people invest in those stocks, so you know, if you just want to look for those and get a, get a quick little flip up, then you can look for that, uh, go to top tens, and then you can also give yourself alerts when something changes, so, you know, symbol is added or removed, anything, you can get it to send it to your phone, all of that stuff like that, all of that, all that. Yeah, so that's how you save it, that's how you retrieve it, so just click on the stock, right click, more info, TOS chart, bam! This is just gonna be a little bonus, because I already pretty much showed you about the scanner. But this is just really just looking at your stock that you chose. So this is the chart that I decided to pick from uh, that list. And so this is just gonna be a scanning. So how would you scan your chart? And there's basically just three questions that you're gonna wanna ask yourself. And the first one, you're gonna wanna ask yourself, what is the trend? Two, how strong is that trend? And three, where do you wanna make your move? Meaning, where do you wanna get in this trade and where do you wanna get out of that trade? So those, those are the three most important questions that you wanna ask yourself. So just looking at this chart right here, I'm on a four hour, 180 day chart. And I'm just looking at this chart right here. We add a drawing here. I can pretty much just see from right here, we're in an uptrend. Can I edit this? You can draw trends and stuff like that. Like So the first, oh, I just, Gosh, that. The first question is what trend is it in? And basically by seeing the trend, you know, you can just look at the chart. Is it going up or is it going down? So you see this one, it's in an uptrend because it has higher highs and I mean, you just connect, you know, two to three different points or price points on the chart and it'll tell you. And then if you wanna know how, how strong that trend is, then that's where you're gonna look at the RSI indicator. So. RSI tells you the strength of the trend. This is the RSI indicator down here. And so when it is really high, you know, you see right here, it was really high in the trend, a little bit low dip there. So you can use that to help you to get in and out. You know, you, you wanna get in when it's oversold and then you wanna ride it up till it's over overbought. And one way that you can do that is you can just kinda look at it. You wanna see a chart that has, you know, this little quick comeback pattern like this and you're gonna look in between these high and lows of this RSI and you're going to basically get an average of, of the time frame it took for it to get to each of these different swings so this is this is swing training baby like I'm, okay so you're gonna time how long it takes for each of it to do these these swings and that's when you're gonna be able to make your move so this is really gonna help you out and the last question where do you want to get in oh I just told you that so yeah so for an example, you saw right here around March the 9th, I would see that it was kind of it was kind of low and it would take a couple of weeks for it to swing up. So then you would buy in right here and you can hold it until it becomes oversold right here. So what price difference is this? This was from 14 like 14.28 to $24. Oh my god. Oh wow. That's a big jump. Um that kind of left me speechless there. I wasn't ex <laughs> I wasn't expecting that much of a jump. Well, so yeah, uh, as you can see, that is going to help you to become lucrative. So honestly, I don't even know if I have anything else to say about it after that. Um 
if you if you want your chart to look like this if your chart doesn't look like this already I'm gonna leave a link uh, for you to click uh, we, we did a video about how to add these indicators on the chart, how to add your EMA line and things like that. A candlestick if you'd like, it doesn't matter. So we have all of, all of those different things in the other video. So make sure you click on that so you can check that out. But yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say, you know, about that. So I hope this video helps you out and you know you're able to really start looking for stocks yeah with that being said that's all i have for this video um if you got any knowledge or gained anything from this video please make sure you click that thumbs up button before you leave also make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know every time i upload a new video for you guys so yeah that's foxtail digital coming to you again with another video and i'll catch you guys next time all right